and she's just clicking, clicking away on her keyboard, and then silence. And she backs up from her computer, and she goes, well, it looks like we're going to have to pump your stomach. That sounds absolutely ridiculous, right? And it sounds ridiculous because it is. I did one of the dumbest things I have ever done in my entire life. You ever do something that's like mildly stupid, like just a little bit dumb, but then the next action was also stupid, and then the next one, and then the next one is like a big snowball effect? Yeah, this is one of those stories. So the summer of 2018 was probably one of the most busiest summers of my entire life. I had just came on as a video editor with a new company and I was still pursuing my acting career and was also trying to have a social life somewhere in there and that wasn't quite working out. But I hadn't seen my best friend in forever and this particular time I was dead tired but our schedules aligned and I was like, I need to see my bestie. So I sucked it up and I hung out with my best friend. So the clock struck about 1 a.m. and my eyelids were starting to get a little bit heavy. Not to mention I could tell that my bestie was about to hit me with one of those. So what you finna do? I knew it was time to take my butt home. So I said goodbye to my best friend and she gives me a hug and she says, hey, I know you're really tired. Are you okay to drive? I was like, Tuh, I'm good, I'm good to drive. Nah fam, you were not good. But I made her home just fine in one piece, but I was dead tired. And at this point, I wanted nothing other than to crawl into my bed and get a good night's sleep. And then I remembered, oh, I didn't take my biotin. So I was half asleep, walked into the bathroom cabinet, grabbed a bottle of biotin, and I popped about four of these bad boys. I know, I know, hold on. Now, I took so many of them because I was trying to be frugal. Y'all know me, I'm frugal. So I bought a cheaper version, not paying attention to how many milligrams or whatever, whatever measure that they put it in. I wasn't paying attention to it and it was super low. So I had to take a, a bunch of them just to get like the, the recommended dosage. So that's why I took so many. So boom, 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 I took the biotin and then I laid back down in the bed and I said, Hmm. Dang, that biotin went down really easily. Again, I got the cheap version, so uh, they're usually kind of gritty, but they went down smooth. I was like, what the hell did I just take? So I went back into the bathroom. I had the bottle still sitting there, and I'm like, I don't think I took biotin. What the heck did I just take? I turned the bottle around, and it was not biotin. I did not take biotin. It was iron. I grabbed a bottle of iron and not biotin. Now they're in the same packaging. They're from the same brand, so they looked exactly the same, same size. Obviously the little tablets were different because that's what I noticed when they went down so daggone smooth. And after like, you would have thought that after like the second one, I would have noticed like, hey, this is different, but I, I just kept taking because I wanted to go to bed. Oops. I just, I couldn't do anything but laugh at myself because I said, I just took four times of the dosage of iron than you're supposed to take. So I kind of shook my head and I was just like, all right, I clearly need to go to bed. I need to go get some rest. So I'm going to go take my butt to bed. So I crawled back into bed, still giggling. And then I said, can you overdose on iron? So I did the most logical thing that anybody would do in this situation. I Googled it. So Google wasn't exactly helpful because you count in that I was half asleep. Then they kept giving me measurements and kilograms and what I had taken was in MCGs and milligrams and just all this stuff. Mental math is not my strong suit even when I'm wide awake. I'm just gonna call it what it is. Where's my calculator? So all these conversions and stuff, I was just like, bruh, what if am I, what, 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 what's happening? At this point, I was just like, all right, let me just flat out search WebMD and see, can you overdose on iron? Yes, yes you can. And according to what I was looking at, I was about to die in about five minutes. So I grabbed the bottle to look to see if I could find the number for poison control on the back of the bottle and there was no number on there. 
my panic level was like, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. It was not a good time. So I kept doing this research because I had to figure this out because I wouldn't, I can't sleep now. So I stumbled across some information that said that an iron overdose can actually cause internal bleeding and to cause you to die a slow and painful death. Oh sh I am dying. So at this point I am in full blown panic mode. I'm at like 12. Mind you, I was home alone, so I didn't have nobody to, to like talk any reason into me. I was just like, I'm dying, I'm dying. And I was starting to feel uh, some indigestion in, in my esophagus. And I'm just like, this is it, this is it, I'm dying. So I ended up doing something that I never, ever thought that I would do. 911, what's the nature of your emergency? Um, I, I'm sorry, I, I'm not even sure if this is the right place to call, but I accidentally consumed four times the recommended amount of iron, and I'm just not sure if I should be concerned. I can't find the number to poison control, and I'm, I'm just in a panic right now. Ma'am, do you want me to send a fire truck to your house? A fire truck? No, 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 is, is there just someone that I can consult with? Can, can you direct me to anyone? Ma'am, I can't give you medical advice over the phone. Well, what should I do? I had to drive myself to the hospital. The, the fact that I could drive myself to the hospital, I was like, I'm good, I'm good. But something that I read was that the symptoms can um, become overwhelming all at once. So I was just like, let me just get to the hospital. Let me just, let me just get there, I'm scared. So I'm at the hospital and I don't know whether to be embarrassed or relieved at this point because I just did the dumbest thing that I've ever done in my life and I have to tell people about it and make sure I'm not dying. So they sat me down, they slapped a wristband on me, and they checked my vitals and everything seemed fine. And the technician was just kinda, you know, she, she asked me a couple questions and she was just clicking away on her keyboard and uh, with, every, with every little click that she did, my panic level just kept going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And she was just clicking, clicking away on her keyboard. And then silence. And she backs up from her computer and she goes, well, it looks like we're going to have to pump your stomach. What? On the outside, all I could say was, okay. But on the inside, I was like, what, what you mean you gotta pump my stomach? Y'all gonna have to put a tube down my throat? Do you, do, do, how does that work? Do you numb my throat? I heard laughing. And she says, oh, <laughs> you took that so well. <laughs> I'm going to admit you to the hospital. We're going to stitch you in this room. And at this point, I am so freaked out and so scared that I'm like, she started laughing, but, but is she, do they got to pump my stomach or not? Like, this isn't, this isn't a laughing matter, ma'am. Like, this is my life, okay? Iron internal bleeding ma'am why are you laughing so <laughs> they take me into the room and i'm sitting there for maybe 10 15 minutes the doctor comes in and he he was the coolest person because i he could tell that i was embarrassed and every time i had to explain it to somebody i was like this is the dumbest thing i have ever done he said listen you did a good thing by coming in here to make sure that you were okay. He was like, that's not the amount that would cause an overdose, but I am so glad that you came in to make sure that you were okay. So at this point I was like, oh, okay, thank God. Cause at all this time I'm still just like, mentally preparing to get a tube shoved down my throat. And it turns out that the information that I read on the internet was true, but it applied to small children who overdose on iron. They can, they can suffer from internal bleeding and potentially die from that. If you have any of these supplements lying around, please, please, I beg of you, protect your babies and please tighten them and put them on the highest shelf possible so they cannot get to them. And also very sleep deprived adults. You need to protect them too, apparently. So thank you for sticking it out with my brush with death. That's dramatic. That's dramatic. That is that is my that is my story. Yeah, it has gone down as one of the dumbest things 
I have ever done in my entire life. If you guys enjoyed this story, let me know because I have a ton of these crazy, goofy stories that you just wouldn't believe have happened. So let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this and you would like me to do more story time. So that in a nutshell is how my crazy behind ended up in the ER because of my natural hair. Lord have mercy. So anyways, as always, I love you so much for watching. Stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay beautiful. Peace.